Today's short films are braver and mature, raising the bar each year with original content. Short films are liberation from boredom, and they offer an expression of liberty. That's interesting. <laughs> In a very short span of time, the platform has become synonymous with original and powerful storytelling in the country. So breaking taboos and balancing emotions. Short films do it perfect. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to a night of cinema and conversation. Royal Stag Barrel Select Large Short Films, centered on the theme of Make It Perfect, is the premier online hub for short films in India. The platform has worked with established artists, but it's also the preferred platforms for aspiring filmmakers. In a very short span of time, the platform has become synonymous with original and powerful storytelling. Tonight, I'm going to be speaking with some amazing artists about what is the essence of telling powerful stories. It gives me great pleasure to introduce the remarkable filmmaker and writer, Rakesh Om Prakash Mehra. <laughs> the ever entertaining and talented Vinay Pathar. The supremely talented and constantly evolving actor, Anil Kapoor. The gorgeous and talented actress turned writer director for siblings, Sheetal Menon. And lastly, renowned screenwriter and lyricist, Niranjan Ayengar. Welcome, everyone. Anil, of course, I want to begin with you. This is your fourth decade as an actor. When you look at the storytelling and the content that is happening around you today, what is your sense of it? Are you excited? Well, I think this is the best time for all of us. There are a lot of uh, writers, directors, and actors not only thinking uh, nationally, but they're thinking globally. <laughs> like, for example, there are shows which have made in India, there are films, there are short films, there are documentaries which have made a mark, not only uh, nationally, but internationally also. There are directors, a lot of directors who want to say something. There are actors who want to who believe in what they're doing. Uh, they're just not doing films for the sake of doing. They're doing one film at a time. They're focusing on their work. They're getting into the character. Uh, when I did uh, 1942, A Love Story, I was playing a role of Narain, who was, uh, and the, the, the era of the film was, 1942. So I cut my hair short, I lost weight, I changed my style of a mustache, I did everything. Then I did Virasad, where I did that. So when I was doing this work, where I would do only one film and do, just do that character, they used to say, it's not just work. I said, I'm doing one film for this reason, because you know, I have to, you know, because I'll not be able to change so many uh, looks, you know, for, so I have to finish this film, and then I can start my film. But now everybody is doing that, you know. Uh, it's actors expected. Are, absolutely. Filmmakers, actors are doing one film at a time. They're giving everything. It's life and death for them. There's prep, uh, you know, in every department. There is a thought to it. They want to say something. So that's the change I find in the last 40 years, yeah. Rakesh, coming to you. In 2001, when Ax released, I remember this conversation uh, that, oh, it was ahead of its time. So do you feel like now... You and time are in sync. I, I really don't know how to answer that. <laughs> Why? I, I think films are timeless. They're perpetual. And uh, you pick up an old classic and, uh, which you would have seen in your times. And you can again introduce the film to your grandchildren. So I think time is a circle, whichever way you look at it. Yes, um, it could have stuck out as a sore thumb. Maybe it was not what was going on in the subcontinent at that point of time. But it's, it's not that, uh, that kind of genre, a paranormal thriller, very dark, uh, with mainstream actors. While making it, we just did what we felt. Personally, for me, Ax, uh, it was my first film. So I had the license for all foolishness and all mistakes, uh, which I still carry with me. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, it did not belong to the stables, I would say, yeah. Vinay, I often hear actors say that this is the best time to be an actor. 
do you agree with that what is your biggest challenge right now i i completely agree with that uh, when, when i came to mumbai for the very first time i thought that was the best time to come to <laughs> mumbai and over the years i really have a very strange theory i think today uh, because there's so many different mediums and platforms for actors i'm saying specifically from the actors point of view i sincerely feel that there are more work and less actors for the for the amount of work that is there and many people have agreed with this the theory is that if today somebody suddenly wants to make a film and they have the financial support and everything and if they want to start making the film in the next 3 months they wouldn't get their first choice because everybody is busy no, no, absolutely yeah. absolutely yeah matter of fact where casting jab chalti hai my daughters are making films hum jo casting mein baithte hain it becomes impossible now she's given a big big success correct but now she's trying to make her next films casting has become a correct because it's, it's not, not that, that uh, easy because no one's available no no it's not a question nobody is available there are very few people available right yeah for Side certain roles so there should be need more actors and we need more trained actors who are fine actors to so casting with a problem hota yeah. definitely is yeah. right but it's a good problem for actors to it's have great. right it's great uh, <laughs> to be in the minority ab- absolutely great and e- even even for character actors for even directors. directors yeah even directors even we don't have directors yeah. 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 you know yeah. we need more directors we need more writers niranjan you've written features you've done shorts you've directed short films what do you have to be mindful of when you're working in this format of course the length but what else are you thinking i think the focus of the story because i think um, there are some things that you can spread out a lot more with more characters but i think the central theme is something that i look for which is like a larger theme, which you do in feature films as well but you have a larger canvas with the feature film and you have a longer time period to engage the audiences i think short films i mean i prefer anything between 12 and 15 minutes so every time i get an idea which i think can fit into this time frame i know it's a short film so then there is a focal theme um that i make sure exists in every scene and once that theme has been completed then there is no space for anything else in that film and one has to be mindful of that at all times because it's easy to get slightly carried away with the characters or with the incident and increases even if you increase it by like 50 40 seconds it's still a tad bit too long and you have to be mindful of ending it where it needs to end so that's something that i think i feel one needs to be mindful about throughout she told siblings is about 32 minutes yes <laughs> yeah it's exactly that so did you when you were making it feel that this is too long for a short film like how did you grapple with the length of it yes absolutely i struggled with it because my first uh, cut was i think around 43 minutes almost 43 minutes and i didn't want to like cut any scene i said i'm just going to keep it as it is and people said this is not your short film then you know so there was a lot of uh, uh, like discussion when people saw the film and they said keep it to uh, 20 minutes duration because it's sort of getting too stretched and long and all that i sort of stuck to that time the 32 minutes was like i'm going to keep this length and <laughs> but tell me all of you why do you think the short films are flourishing in the way they are why why are they is it because people can just consume it on their phones what is exciting about this format i think it's a no brainer uh, viewing habits have uh, shrunk attention spans no viewing habits i, I would say what uh, do you mean what's the difference we would go to the cinema hall uh, we would go with the family and we would watch three and a half hour films three hour films there was a interval it was an outing for the family film started shrinking out west they they stopped doing intervals soon that trend will catch up here and we started doing uh, two and a half hour films two hour films now we are seeing more and more of 90 minute films and now the viewing habits have shifted into your living room even into your bedrooms so so you're watching it on television now this i'm talking about 5 years ago today the viewing habit has shifted onto laptops and uh, your handsets so i think short films are the future if I, i'm not trying to overstress it and we on a platform where we are talking about short films having said that they will not threaten the longer format they will not threaten the ott format 
everybody will coexist because your living rooms will exist and the cinema theaters will exist. It's not that boom, one day there are no cinema theaters. Theaters, I can't go and watch a web series. And the beauty of watching in a theater experience is, is a theater experience. Um, the convenience and the beauty of watching and binging in, uh, in your bedroom and your living room while everybody has slept and it's a Friday or a Saturday night and you're watching all night, it's got its own charm. So short films are the future, yeah. Okay, hold that thought. We need to take a break. It's time for a break now, but don't go anywhere. We'll be back with more conversation on the art of storytelling. Welcome back. Royal Stag Battle Select Large Short Films has ushered in a revolution in the field of filmmaking. Through a slew of powerful shorts, the platform has made the short film format a popular genre in the country. So let's talk about short film. Vinay, you've done it all. You've done the shorts, the features, the theater, the streaming. Um, as an artist, is it as satisfying to do a short film that somebody will watch on a phone? I, I think short films are very exciting uh, for a few reasons, uh, I feel. Because uh, there's a very... Uh, intrinsic understanding of the economy of storytelling. So you know that in 15 minutes, I would have the beginning, middle and the end of my story. So as an actor, as an artist, you prepare for that. Uh, secondly, I feel that in, in the recent years, the, the short film production and making uh, is being taken seriously. Uh, established filmmakers are, are going and making short films. You know, you, you've made so many feature films, and you wouldn't mind making a short film. And, and, and uh, in the US, uh, we have a culture of attaching a five-minute shot with a full-length film. So you've film. you gone to see your favorite movie out there. And before that, there's a five-minute shot attached, which could belong to a student from a film school. And the world gets to see it. And, and if there is talent, that talent gets a platform. So let's talk about the stories and Niranjan, as the one writer on this panel, do you believe that the story is the foundation of any storytelling, whether it's long form, short form, whatever it is, is that the spine? Yes, it is. You know, I often say that a feature film is like a person. The actors are the face, the brain is the director, the eyes are the cinematographer and the writing is the spine. And perhaps that's why it was for all these years ignored. But fortunately, now we are in a space where that has been acknowledged that, that, that writing is one of the fundamentals of storytelling of a, a, in any genre, especially in feature film. And Shital, come in here. Would you say that there is more freedom in the short format because the box office pressures don't exist? Yeah, absolutely. I don't think I was thinking about box office and all that. I had the freedom to think about just my story or who's going to watch my film or household or any, any of those things. I think I had complete freedom in what I wanted to say. I know there are a lot of uh, self-doubt and all that, but those bigger risks, you're not thinking of that. So that gives you a lot of freedom. Anil and Rakesh, when you're working in the feature film format and the box office pressure is a very real thing, how much does it impact on the choices you make as an actor? or as a director? You know, are you at all thinking that this is a great story, but it will go or not? Where does that come in? Does that come in for you? It depends on what phase of my career I was. No, now. Now, what do you do? Now? Now, I'm having the best time of my life. <laughs> <laughs> there was a patch where I was thinking about the box office uh, for, a few, you know, almost 10 years where I was thinking that my film should become the biggest hits. I should become the biggest star of the country. All those things were there. I remember when I signed even 1942, A Love Story, and I signed Lame. That was also a very, very conscious decision. But I had an instinct when I heard the stories and I heard the script and the people involved in it, that, this, uh, that these two films will have uh, relevance even after 20, 30 years. We know that we were shooting. So when we were filming, we always said that when we saw our parents' film, we didn't think that they were bad. <laughs> you know? So box office coffee times it's important, but not the most it's not my priority at the moment. 
when I choose a film. You know, one of the most powerful tools we have in the Indian film industry is songs. Uh, it is what makes us unique. Is this a prevalent trend that, you know, they don't want to do lip sync songs and songs and music are being sort of relegated a little bit to the sidelines? See, I'm from the radio generation. Yeah. I used to hear songs, not see them. Exactly. So in 2006, Rangdeva Santhi released. 2004, I was making it. I decided I'll not have a lip sync song. So pff, there was this, Amir used to say, Mera, tu shore hai. Main chhod de yaar, mere ko. Haan, thik hai. Rehman, hey man, your actors are not singing. And he said, yeah, then everyone will listen to your songs. Don't worry. So they listen more because I have heard songs and grown up. I didn't see songs. So for me, songs are larger than life. It's stupid to have lip sync songs. <laughs> <laughs> it, there can be exceptions, well, one or two. Because if it's uh, a spoof. you can't have a police inspector, a school teacher, a Gunda Mawali, a teenager singing in Sonu Nigam's voice. <laughs> All of them. You know, it's it's so no, because of the times we are living in, guys, is 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 this, let's not say the golden era of 60s. You're living in 2090. I realize this much earlier, and that's why you keep saying ahead of your time, ahead of your time. <laughs> and I'm wondering what's going. You just have to respect it. Anil, I have to ask you, are you just too big for short films? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's too big or too uh, small. I feel it's the story. It's, it, you know, if something is very exciting. And uh, then you say, I'm film to kar raun, OTD bhi kar raun, ye bhi kar raun, wo bhi kar raun, chale, ye bhi kar lete hain. You never know. You know, because anything you do creatively, you just don't know where, when, where it is going to fly. If you like something from your heart, instinctively, you should just do it. I love, I love the idea that no one's big or small. It's all about the story. We're going to come back and talk more about the story. But it's time again for a break. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back. We're talking about the essence of powerful storytelling. Okay, one last question. If there's one thing that you could change in storytelling, in the entertainment ecosystem, what would you change for present day cinema? I'm looking forward to Irishman. I have read an article, like there's a film being made where James Dean has been casted for a role and they've created James Dean. They've taken permission from James Dean's family. And Irishman, of course, they've spent a lot of money uh, making Robert De Niro and uh, Al Pacino and Joe Pesky uh, much younger. So there are this, these are the things which I'm... How people are going to react to it. Are they going to look plastic? Are they going to look... Uh, what is how the people are going to take... Because these are very important... Uh, you know, obviously, South India... There are a lot of films being made in South India and India, India also where the actor, the leading men are, you know, working on their faces to look younger, but still that's, these are all fantasy film. But now uh, this is a realistic, Martin Skorsky makes real films, you know, real films. So I'm looking forward to the film and let's see what that might be a big change. Vinay, what about you? What, what is the one thing you want to change? I, I feel that it's, it's something should be done, you know, for the smaller films to coexist. Like how we're making endeavors for, for short films to come into foray. Uh, you know, an event like this, you know, I'm, I'm sure people who are watching it on television or people here, they would be inspired to make short films. So similarly, I, I feel for, for smaller films, maybe Anil has suggested in the afternoon, I, I thought it was a fantastic idea, to have more uh, uh, movie theaters. You know, in a country of 1.25 billion people, that we have enough multiplexes. I, I don't think no, so. No, we don't. No, I, no, 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 yeah. no. We're underscreened. So, yeah. 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 so I, I think, you know, there, if we have more movie theatres, different kind of movie theatres, movie theatres only for short films, to so just imagine the, the choice that the audience, the consumer would have, you know, on, on the palette. So I, I think something revolutionary like this, I, I feel should come. It's high time. Yeah. One thing is revolution. It should be like this, that it should be a machine. <laughs> I know where it's going. <laughs> <laughs> but 
while that happens, what would you like to change? <laughs> um, no, rather than philosophy, I want to change the name Bollywood, Tollywood, Hollywood, yeah. Mollywood. I agree. Yeah. Correct. I agree. Completely. Uh, it just shows we are still in the colonial mindset. First, we need to get rid of Bollywood. And we, we should call ourselves. Uh, so what do you do? I'm from the Indian film industry. See, I'll tell you what. The day we make films, great films, which will appeal globally to the world, then the things will change. This is my feeling. Well, let's all think global. And on that happy note, thank you so much. You've been such a wonderful panel here. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you for Anupama. all your wonderful insights. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this conversation as much as I did. A big shout out to Royal Stag Battle Select Large Short Films and to our venue partner, Saturday Club. Until next time, good night.